Man good looking out for helping me with this algebra crap. It's not crap, it's called math. The subject that's all about numbers, remember that. Yeah I remember, like who made algebra anyway. Not Jesus if that's who you're thinking. Nah not him, I was thinking ah. Uh. Hey, I'ma go look for a magazine. Magazine? This school don't carry magazines. Of course they do, they're in the back. Well how come I don't see them? Cause you never been to the back of the library. I know, because I've been there. Whatever. Damn there's a spider in your hair, quit it. Nadine? What are you staring at? I'm staring at Riley. Ooh. Riley. I'm suspicious which Riley. Riley, no 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 don't tell me, you were talking about Riley Davis? No. Riley Anderson? No. Ooh, I know which one, Riley Hammond. No. Riley Tompkins. No. Golly, Riley Patterson. Hermine, you know I can't stand him, I hate that boy. What do you have against him? He smokes in girls' faces, one time he dumped his ashes in my lunch on purpose. Darn. Well I give up, which Riley are you talking about? Riley Freeman. Him? Yes. Riley Freeman? Please you probably won't even last 10 minutes with him. Oh really? Really? Why do you say? Riley Freeman is one of those ghetto rapper boys who probably lives in the projects, carries guns, or even sell and smoke drugs. You wish he was that type of boy Hermine? No I don't wish, it could be obvious. You know something? You were just talking because you don't have a boyfriend or you just can't find one. Nadine? Say and do what you want, but when John finds out what's going on, he's going to go really crazy, and you know how crazy he gets. Look J.E. can't do anything to me because he and I are through, and besides, I dumped him, he is a jerk. Like I said say and do what you want. Oh shut up you smart talking, doctor girl. Say and do whatever you want. Hi Riley. Um, hi. How are you today? Um, good. How are you yourself? I'm fine. Call me tonight. Um, okay. Hi Huey. How you doing girl? Fine, your brother and I are going on a date tonight. Maybe you and Tatiana can join us. Um, I'll try to get her to come. Okay I'll see the both of you tonight. What was that all about? I don't know, I guess Nadine just demanded me to give her a call tonight. Do you think little kid? Gee? Good looking out, G. So I'll say you should start heading here say around 6.30 to 6.45. Okay. O'Reilly. Oh, Yay he's gone be bussin' out running to Nadine's crib. So look, I'm already dressed, homework's done, did all my chores, everybody's gone. Well I'm not quite. Look I'll just come to your crib is that okay? Oh everybody's gone at your crib ha. Huh? Well look here, don't you move one muscle, because I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay I'll see you then. Oh man. Wanna talk about it? It was just Tatiana Ida, she waited for me to drop by her house and you know what? Do some studying. Mm -hmm. And how long you think this studying is gonna take? I don't know Grandad. But I know it's gonna be a lot of hard work. Okay, Huey. Just don't make it go too far. Because I'm not listening to any loud crying babies. Relax, Grandad. That era of our relationship is not till 2025. Okay. Sup, G. How I look? You look good. So you're going to her house to pick her up? Yep. 
And by the way, you look like a high school student from San Francisco. Thank you, Riley. That was kind of you. No problem. Is that what you can say on your date with your hoochie mama? Hey! You started it? I'm ending it. Look, brah, wish me luck. Cause there might be a possibility where I might get between. Don't take it too far, Riley. Cause you know what granddad's trying not to do. What? Reveal that he was a sugar daddy? No, not that. He's trying not to deal with loud Korean babies. Granddad has done that enough. He ain't seen no babies in over 15 years. Well, let's let that continue for the next 25 more years. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going. I'll see you later. Go get her little kid. Again, good looking out, G. Riley, I can't believe we're doing this. Well, I can't believe it either. So, do you think I'm cute? Hell yeah. You look cuter than Cardi B. No, um. You look cuter than Sarah. I mean, damn it. Riley, 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 it's cool. I love them both. Really? Yeah. What about you? I love Cardi B. She is so. One of the best female rappers. Well, um. How long you been living out here? Six years. I'm from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Wow! I'm from Chicago. I've been out here since last year. Oh. Look, Riley, you know my friend, Ermin? From the nurse's class? Yes. What's she up to? What's she like, Huey? No, it's not that. She thinks I can't last 10 minutes with you. What? Yes. She thinks you're the kind of person who would live in the projects, sell and smoke drugs, or carry weapons. No, no, I ain't that kind of a person. Well, because this isn't a bad city. You see the cities me and my bra who we come from are cities that has a lot of crime stories and other things. We try to make it peaceful and clean. But people like to live that gangsta thug way you know, like live the past with plastic around a furniture and stuff like that. I was like granddad we need to get out of here and move somewhere where there's no crime and thuggy people live at. You know what I mean? Yay. Okay. Look Riley, I'm loving this, I mean look at this, we're loving each other, we're conversating, we're both drinking coco mocha latte, thank you so much Riley. Shall we do it again? <laughs> Riley, we can always kiss. No, I mean, shall we go out again? Oh, sure. I'd love to. Yes, ma'am. I'll come pick you up. Hey, can I get a refill of my latte? Nadine. J. -E? Oh, you're J. -E. What's up, bra? Young Reezy. Don't tell me what's up. Get out of the chair. What? J. -E, what are you doing here? I'll deal with you after I get him out of this chair. Move. That's GCA homie, ground chair auto. I don't care what it is I said, get out of the chair now move. What are you looking at me for? What do you want me to apologize? That would be nice of you, and do me another favor and calm down. Okay, I'll do that. How you doing kid? My name's John Ellis, but people call me G. I'm currently Nadine's boyfriend. Riley, he is not my boyfriend. He is your boyfriend. Nadine? You were supposed to come help me with my laundry. Why didn't you come do so? Because we're not together anymore. I dumped you. Now please leave us alone. That's another question. Why did you dump me? I thought we had a connection with each other. Listen brah, there's no need to feel that way okay? It happens to a lot of teenage boys and guys. We men we can go to clubs and pick up some strippers and... Riley. I'm on your side Nadine. Look, young Robbie, whatever the hell your name is, do me a favor and get a can of root beer and go sit down somewhere. You see? That's exactly what I be talking about, you and your arrogant and rude behavior. Nadine, I am doing what I am. If you don't like it, that's too bad. And you see why I don't want to stay with you because you're an idiot. Riley, I'd like to go home. Please take me. Fasho. He's not taking you home. Better yet, you're not going anywhere with him. Negro, hold up a second. Stay the hell out of this. Nadine? 
do something to your little buddy here. Because I am about to bust a cap up in his little cute head. Man, I know you're Joshin me, homie. I'm Joshin you? Does it look like I'm Joshin you? Well, does it punk? Nadine, you might have to go home by yourself because I don't think he's Joshin me. Ha 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 ha, you're a funny kid. Nice meeting you. I'll see you later. Riley, I am so sorry about what just happened. No, it's all straight. Excuse me. That's right, punk, you better leave. Shoo talking about you gone bust a cap up in my little head. Boy, I'll beat you down so hard you'll be using your own legs as crutches. Shoo, you don't want to mess with me, I'm a Cardi B fan, foo. I'm from the ghetto streets of Chicago. Don't come back to my town. Punk. Everything's okay. What took so long? Nothing. Just thought I saw J.E. Rob in the store across the street, but I think I'm just looking at things. Anyway, where are we? You should have been there, Huey. This boy ain't just no regular ex-boyfriend of Nadine's. This boy's a muscular, tough acting thug. Muscular, tough thug? Yay, talking about he was gone bust a cap up in my little cute head. <laughs> For real? Yeah! You know you do got a cute little head. Huey do your gay jokes later. Right now, focus on what I'm talking about. Okay my bad little kid. Like for real what's this tough thug's name? His real name is John Ellis, but everybody call him J.E. J.E.? Yes J.E. Damn! I forgot about that foo. So you mean you heard about him? He dropped out of school just to sell drugs back in 2016. Damn for real? Yeah. God that negro got some serious problems. What we talking about? Riley is having a problem with a muscular thug. Oh my goodness, who's trying to kill my step grand baby? I da chillax. He ain't trying to kill me. He just mad because I am dating his girl. Hold on, I know y'all not out there stealing other boys' girlfriends. She dumped him. He's acting like it's not true. Look, let me tell you a story. Okay, while you doing that, I'ma be in the kitchen. Okay, Riley. So I was in high school at this moment, and it was prom night. Four boys wanted to be my dance partner, because how cute I looked. You were the cutest girl in high school? I show sure was. Cuter than Whoopi Goldberg? Yep. Oprah Winfrey. Cuter than her. What about Marilyn Monroe? Can I continue telling the story? Go ahead. Now, four boys wanted to be my dance partner not only because I was beautiful looking, I was always a beautiful trendsetter. People talking about my dresses, my skirts, my high heels, they loved me. That's it? Nah, that's not it. The most popular song from the 60s played at the prom, and the boys wanted to dance with me. So which one did you dance with? Neither of them, I found someone else to dance with. You did? Yeah, I danced with Jermaine Sanders. That sound like a white student. He was mixed. Jermaine Sanders was a talented young man who was really smart and always innocent, never got into a fight, never got suspended, he never got one F on his report card. Are you serious? I'm serious, but then... Hey what's up Tatiana, looking for Huey? Yay, yeah, where he at? Right here Tati what's up? The coast is cleared, my mother is not home, she had to work overnight. Oh really? Really. We can do what we want. Y'all do me a favor and get a hotel room. Sorry, Ida. Can't afford it. Hi, baby. Huey. Riley. Tatiana. Baby, what's going on? Well, Huey and Tatiana are up to doing something, and Riley's having a feud with a muscular thug. Riley, who is the boy? Oh, Granddad, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Granddad Riley is in the middle of a dilemma with J.E. J.E.? Damn it, Huey. Yes, Granddad, I'm in the middle of a dilemma over a girl with John Ellis. That's it, I'm going to get my shotgun. Granddad, no, not only he'll be dead, his parents are gonna come after you and you'll be dead, and they'll be going to the pin. I mean, why the hell things can't stay straight? 
you move into a certain area and there's peace and quiet but somehow there's chaos. I mean Negroes getting into dilemmas over whores and so much other things, like when is things gonna stay normal. Granddad I'ma try to be back before 9 o'clock, I'ma let Nadine know I can't be with her no more. Okay good luck. Hey, and one last thing, if you ever bump into that J.E. bastard, you better man up and fight back, or if you don't feel like it, you can always run. Granddad I ain't even gonna see that fool, I'm just going to see Nadine. Hold up little kid, what if you do bump into him and he strangles you? Huey he's not gonna see me. Uh huh frick it, I'm coming with you. Look G, I appreciate the support, but it will be better if I fix this myself. Come on, I'm come with you. You have nothing to do with this bra, I got put through this I'ma get myself out of it, now don't come with me. Riley, you're my little bro, and I as your big bro is gonna help you get you out of this, now we're doing this together. And what about Tatiana? It's called bros before hoes little bro. If you say so, let's go then. Hold on boys. Be careful out there. We'll do Ida. I hope them kids are careful. I think I'm about to go upstairs, Robert. Okay, I'll um. Uh, screw it, me too. Wait, what do I do? You sure this clown doesn't live nowhere around here? He don't. He probably live on the other side of town. Okay, because if this guy's talking about coming after you, it's my job to protect you. But what if he goes after you? Then I'm screwed too. We're both screwed. Riley, you're my little brother. And whatever happens to you is what's gonna happen to me. Understand? I understand. Okay. Stop.